Hey guys! Welcome back to Let's Play Grandia 3. Last time, we finally made our way to actually exploring the Dragon Valley. And we made our way to the Rocky Terrace, take out some seagulls or birds or whatever the hell those guys were. This time, let us move forward from the Rocky Terrace to the... Even though it's still called the Rocky Terrace, it's not quite so rocky. Okay, sure, that works for me. Still has an awesome view, though. Definitely. God, I love the artwork in this game. Alright. There is going to be a lot of stuff we can attack around here. Uh, be very liberal with your use of the square button. Would be a good idea. Let's see here. Let's throw that up there. What else can I hit around here? This! Let's hit this first. Oh. Or I could press the button. That works too. Just used to having to press the circle button to attack everything. Well, actually I'm used to using the circle button to jump on everything, but that's for the next LP. Man, there's a lot of crap to do in 10 -2. Damn, there's a lot of stuff to do in that game. Alright, let's see what do we got here. This one. Knock that down there. Um, I'm not going to remember the correct order of doing absolutely everything around here. So, uh, if we get turned around, we have to do, you know, head back just a little bit to uh, finish things off. My apologies, but, uh, yeah, it, uh, it's a somewhat of a confusing area, even though it's a lot of stuff that's right out in the open. Now, we fight the little lizard guys this time. Pretty sure we fought them before. Oh no, we fought them outside. So we've seen them before, and we've seen them before. They're all pretty much the same. Um, sure. A blade of light. They're, uh, They're all gone. Ha! And I I'm win. Sorry. Yay! Yeah, there's multiple things you could do in fights around here. Leveling up abilities is one of them. And just spamming the button is another. Now, some of these will contain items once again. Uh, again, they are random, just like with the mushrooms from earlier in the game. So you could uh, play around with that and like come back and farm some of the stuff in there if you want. I wouldn't uh, go out of my way to do it because I don't remember there being anything particularly useful around here, but I could be wrong. We'll, we'll see if we get anything useful. Anytime you get surrounded, it's a good opportunity to use Force Wave. Force wave. <laughs> because Force Wave is freaking awesome. <laughs> Alright. Let's try this one more time. I used all physical attacks in that fight and I still didn't get hit. <laughs> Alright, I don't think we gotta knock anything down over here. There are a bunch of logs we need to knock down in kind of specific orders, so just kind of bear with me. We'll eventually find them all. Make sure uh, we knock them all over so that we can get from A to B. Uh, we can jump across there. Is there anything else I need to knock down around here? I do need to go over and across over there at some point. Is that point right now? Ah, we can go down and around. Okay. Oh yeah, Lizard Hunter's still a good idea. Not that uh, that should have changed in between areas. It's just been like a week and a half since I actually had a chance to uh, record this. Every time I've had free time, I've been more motivated to uh, put some more work into Final Fantasy X-2. The test run is coming along well, making progress, which is good. Didn't, uh, I'd kind of forgotten many aspects of the game, and so getting a chance to kind of remember a lot of them is, of course, going to be good for me. Get uh, more familiar with what I'm doing when I eventually LP that one. Uh, do we need to go over here? I think I go get down there from down around the other side. So now we can head on up here. And up here, there are more logs we can knock down. Because that's pretty much what this area is. A lot of no knocking down logs. But it's not all we do around here. No, we also get to slaughter lots of those guys. But again, that's not all we do. 
Hello! Yeah, some of these guys turn into surprise enemies. Now, I would guess they're weak to fire. I don't know. They... Green Man, that's really your name? Whatever. Anyway, let's see. I really want to learn Shadow Warrior. It would be nice, but... Uh, I will. Oh, I didn't get off in time. That sucks. There we go. Hit a couple of them. We're full on SP, so we might as well take out uh, guys using some of our more powerful attacks. Uh, okay. I'll take that. The more I level up Bladestorm now, the better, because it's actually useful to learn now. Trying to use it later won't be quite so useful. Oh, so you're going to counter. So I'm going to do that. There we go. Get some more damage out of it. That's nice. Which means I am going to get hit by Blood Eater. Oh, you absorb some. I'm not particularly worried. Uh, let's see. Rock Breaker? Rock Breaker. This might sting a little. Unfortunately, we don't have a new uh, weapon for you yet. Yeah, finish you off there. And see, one of the added advantages to having, um, yeah, that's probably good. Uh, to having, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, wow. <laughs> Uh, to having the warp shoes or mysterious clogs or whatever they're called in this uh, this game here. Um, sure. Okay, I'll take that. Um, is that it also adds warp evasion as well. So when you dodge an attack, probably from having perception on, you also warp away as you could see just there. Now you are going to go in for that. You are going to try and do something else. Um, I'm trying to use your SP. What is with this fight? Wow. Maybe I should have tried to use um, Shadow Worry with all. Maybe you would have learned something. Unfortunately, your uh, special attack doesn't really help me against uh, uh, against that kind of an attack there. I actually have to heal in a fight. This will fix you up. Wow. Such a rarity. And now she's fine. Okay, let's um, try Stun Force. She Sorry, actually didn't, you know, use it for free. Cool. And yes, they're susceptible to stun, just like most things. Um, Flash? I gotta use something. I'm full on SP. As soon as you're full on SP, you know you gotta use something. All right. And there we go. Yeah, they're inflicted with a status effect. It makes it a lot easier to get an aerial combo there. So if they're in Petra or uh, paralyzed like that, and then you use a critical on them, you'll knock them into the air and you should be able to use uh, whatever you need there. So yeah, if I haven't mentioned it already, he always ends combos, so I'm pretty sure I mentioned it, but if you use him and then say want to continue it with Yuki, you won't be able to. You'll have to use Yuki first uh, to activate the uh, aerial combo, and then I'll full finish it, no matter what position he's in. But anyway, there's not a whole lot to having those guys. I believe we can knock something over around here. Yeah, a couple of these. But I don't think it leads to anything. I think it's just kind of there for completion's sake. Yeah, because we can't get in there, and there's nothing in there to begin with. So, yeah, let's, um, yeah, hidden ladder here. Make, uh, you gotta do a lot of kind of looking around or using the square button around here, because some of the camera angle's not so great for trying to find things. All right, what do we got here? Game. Okay. Hit detection, come on. There we go. A couple more of those. I don't think we have to do anything else with those. Ah, there's the one we need. So this one will allow us to move forward.
Sometimes these animation sequences are a little long, but they look nice, so I'll give them that. Other than the one fight... Oh, I can't carry any more of those. Do I need heal MP? Mm, I guess I kind of do. Uh, other than the one fight where we were... Where... It's off, there we go. Uh, the one fight that you saw, I haven't been hit at all since starting to record this video. <laughs> Oh, I don't know why it is like that, but uh, recently a lot of the uh, games that I've been LPing uh, or working on for an LP in the case of the next one, uh, they just are relatively on the easy side. Like 10-2, you know, the first two chapters of 10-2, you use normal attacks and you win. And that's it. I wasn't kidding about the 10 thing, but... Uh, of course, now that I said it, I got hit in that battle, so. Oh well. Got it. Finally! You can't tell which one is finally me. got one for Shadow Warrior. I'm trying to get this forever. Keep an eye on my and the uh, guys there are going to do a special attack, and I think I'm going to let them uh, show it off there, so we'll uh, leave them to that, and I'll try and learn something for this. I think they're going to target uh, Alfina, so that's not going to at least, you know, completely eliminate what it's going to do. Impaler. Eh. Ha <laughs> ha, suckers. Oh, that's good. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, these guys love using Howl Slash. There we go. I could have used normal attacks too, but uh, if they survive the attack, they'll get... Uh, Combo things or whatever. There we go. All right. Well, we that it. was fun. Yay! Level up. All right. Let's take care of those guys. All right. So yeah, some of these guys will contain useful things. Some of them will contain things to beat up. Let's throw that one in as well. I think this is one of the more pointless ones. But I do like the camera angle they give us, at least for the first half of it. Because it almost seems as if you're going with it. Which actually makes, you know, me want to go, like, river rafting or something like that. It uh, seems... Seems fun, anyway. There we go. What do we got in here? Cure powder, which I don't need. Anything else over here? Okay. Make sure I'm not missing anything around here. Apparently nothing so far. That is good. I kind of wish there were more of those other dudes because uh, I like fighting them. Well, speaking of which, here's another one. Of course. Sorry, this might hurt. Okay, I'll show you that. We learned another one for stun force. Woot! And I was going to use that afterward if I needed to. Man, I spent way too much time in that battle trying to get a uh, three-person... Uh, aerial combo and it just wasn't working for me so I just gave up. <laughs> I do want to show that off using more than just a couple of people at some point but uh, hey come back here. There we go finish off the rest of the enemies around here. Throw out one of those. What am I missing around here? I don't think it's too too much. Did I double check up here? Well if I didn't there's nothing up there. <laughs> Over here, is there anything up on the top? No. Okay, this is the one that uh, chances are you'll miss. You headed back over here. I don't think there's anything really to do over here other than you come up the ladder and you can extend a bridge going backward in case you want to backtrack. Oh, there is an item up here. Never mind. I know what I'm talking about. All right. Hey. What do we got here? A life egg! Do we have one of those yet? Okay, I finished off you, and I believe one of those might be an enemy, but uh, let's just uh, take a look up here, and yeah, this one uh, heads back, so you can head back if you need to save or something. There's another save point before we get to uh, the Dragon Valley proper anyway, but depending on what you want to do. Oh, three of them! I'm so unprepared. Well, there's that. I've got it. Okay, two in the same fight. I'll take that. 
Okay, we'll show the end of this fight here because uh, I've got Ulf with his uh, Shadow Warrior on about to critical this guy. So he's going to uh, go up in the air there and with uh, Flash on Yuki, he'll deal a whole bunch more hits. But if he manages to not kill it, we can finish it off by hitting it with uh, Alfina and that's the uh, three hit combo. Like I said before, you'll end it if you happen to use ult at any point along the line. So he's usually a good person to start it off, which makes Shadow Warrior even better for him. But look at how much money you get from fighting those guys and a lot of experience. Um, not that we wouldn't want to do it anyway. Ooh, a leaf egg, not bad, not bad. Um, I think that's all we need to do over here. So let's head on back. Where are those stairs at or rope ladder or whatever. And my battery's low on the phone. Okay, so run around in circles. Let's head in between, I don't know, cliffs? I don't know what you call those. Little ravine? Not really. Not really that tall, but anyway, we see a way that looks like it's right to go. So we obviously are going to go the other way. All right, finished up those guys. We'll grab one more treasure. What do we got here? Dragon scale. If I remember correctly, that's an accessory and it's not as good as it sounds. Which is kind of sad, really. But uh, anyway, let's uh, make our way to the save point over here. I believe the... Did they go that long? Whatever. Let's uh, see. Equipment. We got something else I wanted to check out, too. Uh, where are we here? The life egg. Gives us one level to everything. It's not really the best. Um, there's a couple of eggs like this, the uh, life egg and of course the heal egg. Um, mostly like these ones that, you know, give you magic to all different abilities. Usually they give you some rather unique spells, ones that aren't, you know, typically elemental based or, you know, they'll be like status effects or just other spells that you don't normally have access to if you try and to extract uh, the spells out of them. So definitely take a look at that, but don't be, uh, don't try and take too much away from it. All right, save. And yeah, let's, where the hell am I going? I have no idea what I'm doing. Let's go watch way too many cutscenes for the end of this episode. Cool. That's fortified. Listen up! It's me, Ulf! It's been many years since our communicator disappeared. Rack hasn't spoken a word to any of us since then. All we can do now is protect him. That is our duty, and we will uphold the oath we've taken. So... Be gone with you all! But Alfina is a communicator! And we need your help! I beg you! You must let me go see Drag! I know that he will talk to me! Ulf is nothing but a traitor! He turned his back on his people! So why should we believe his friends? What's with you people? You're all so stubborn! <sighs> all right then, I'll just have to break down the door! <sighs> Do not harm them! Oh, it's Drac! Drac oh. is speaking to us! Yes, but Drac! They're... they're... Let them through and bring them to me! <sighs> Okay, wasn't one of the key things about these guardians that they couldn't speak without a communicator? Well, there goes that one. <laughs> yeah, this, uh, this sequence is, well, interesting, to say the least. Yeah, we'll finish up the uh, cutscene for today, because I can do a bunch of backtracking off-screen in between episodes once we're done. Where is this dragon? What's with that mountain in front of me? 
Where, where's this uh, Drac guy? Huh? This oh is my Drac god! Holy shit, that's big! Understand that Amelius has destroyed Arkriff. I never would have believed that anyone would be able to harness the enormous power of Zorn. The power of Zorn? Tell me, what will my brother do with that power? All of your questions will be answered in time. Alfina. As a communicator, you will grow to understand time. But you are still so young. For now, just believe in the ebb and flow of time. The flow of time? Protect you from Zorn's power. Okay, that was unexpected. And yeah, he offers the orb, and then we actually have to physically go collect it. Can't just stand by, huh? What can you do? What should you do? Yeah, the uh, the voice they chose for Drac does not match that appearance at all, does it? Yeah, just... It's so off-putting when you hear him for the first time. Lead your friends to them. Okay. I missed it. People of the Corridor... Is that what they said? Yeah. People of the Corridor. That's who we gotta go find next. So at least we have a plan. And you can't turn the camera all the way around, so you awkwardly have to just walk away with that giant dragon staring at you. It's very off-putting. <laughs> it's so weird. This game has a lot of little in intricacies like that, of just random weird bits uh, that... Uh, anyway, yeah. But anyway, that's pretty much all the time we have for today. There's no actual town here, which is kind of odd. But uh, in between... Oh, it warps you partway back already, which is nice. And then you get more dialogue. The people of the corridor live to the east. The Bakulani people. Tiny village in the desert far to the east. Yeah, and there's a guardian over there. Yeah, the uh, the lines we get out of Drac really don't suit him as a guardian, since obviously our goal is to now seek another guardian, so it's kind of apparent that we're going to do that. We're going to go see if we can talk to some other guardians, maybe one, maybe two, maybe ten, who knows, uh, and try and kind of figure out where the plot is going to go, and what we can do to stop uh, Alfina's brother. But, uh, yeah, it's, uh, they don't put you right by your, uh, your ship there, which is over on the other side, so I'll make my way back in between episodes. Uh, but the orb that we got, um, where is it here in valuables? Valuables, yes. Now, 
This is a unique aspect of the game. Uh, it's, it's an orb, and basically you'll get more than one orb throughout the game. This is the uh, attacking one, and they all have different effects. Uh, there's a healing one and some other ones I don't remember off the top of my head. Basically, they make a game that's already really easy, laughably easy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show them off. In my test run, I didn't use them at all, and I had no problem with pretty much the fight with the rest of the game there's like two spots you could possibly use it stop trying to back up when i'm recording go away um yeah so there's two spots you could possibly use it one of them is actually coming up and i'll probably demonstrate it in that battle since it's actually somewhat useful there um but other than that it just does lots of damage this one there's one that does lots of healing um we'll get more over time and i'll show them to you as we get them we'll just demonstrate them in specific battles or random battles or whatever i don't know but uh yeah that's pretty much all the time we have for today next time i will be taking out these enemies on the way back and i will meet you either by the plane or near the plane or something like that we'll, we'll figure it out that's all for this one and i'll see you guys next time